So head of respect, how do you think about your husband? Leads to a heart of respect. How do you feel about your husband? How do you feel about your husband? And you know how you feel about your husband? By what you say. Jesus says it this way, Matthew 12, 34, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. All right, ladies, I've been accused in the past. Oh, you only yell at the men. You, you don't also speak directly to the women. We'll make up for all of those omissions right now. <laughs> because we believe in equality and diversity, we will now offend the women as well. But if there is disrespect in your head, it will reside in your heart. If there's disrespect in how you think of him, there will be disrespect in how you feel about him. And it comes out in your speech. It comes out in your speech. I would say, ladies, this is one of the reasons it's really important to regularly be praying for your husband because it conditions you on how to speak about your husband. And the truth is, you won't speak about your husband to the Lord the way you do your worst women friends, the nagging, gossiping, busybodying, bitter brigade, sometimes called the women's prayer circle. <laughs> oh, we all pray for one another. No, you don't. You all disrespect your husband and call it prayer requests so it seems holy while Satan is dancing. And you should be praying more for your husband than you should be talking about your husband. Gossip, ladies, is talking about someone instead of to someone. If you're talking to others, particularly women, instead of talking to your husband, you're guilty of gossip. And if you are allowing them to just talk negatively about their husbands, you are not encouraging them, you are not serving them, you are not helping them, you are joining them in sin. What do you say about your husband? What do you say in his absence? What do you say in the presence of your children about their father? Oh, your, your father's such an idiot. Your father screwed up again. I don't know why I ever married that guy. Here's what you're teaching your children. Dishonor, disregard, disrespect your father. You're teaching them, you're training them to dishonor the instruction of the Bible and you are separating them from their father, which leads to their death. And what will happen is the children will start to parrot the mother. Right? All of us guys know that gal. She's the wife and mother that just lets her husband have it in front of the children, and before long, the children start to parrot the mother. It's a horrible thing. How do you speak about your husband? In the presence of others, in the presence of the children, in his own presence? 